peace and love. I hope all is well. Hope you're feeling blessed and safe and high vibrational. So in this video we'll be connecting with the energy of Mother Gaia. And we'll just be having a good look to see what she has to present to us today. What messages she has to give. This is a timeless read, but it's for November 2021. And again, we'll just be having a good look to see what Mother Gaia has to present to us. We'll be using the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. And we'll kind of just be getting straight into it really. You, if you are looking for personal information, it's down below in the description box. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can do so. I'm not Tali and at we the collective underscore. So... Also, sorry, on this channel, I also channel the energies of some Ascended Masters, some Celebrity Energies, as well as the 12 signs of the Zodiac. And you can take a look at those in the playlist. So before in the pre-shuffle, when I was just sat here, I just... Well, in fact, I wasn't even shuffling the deck, actually. I was just sat here contemplating, just seeing if I was getting anything intuitively from Mother Gaia. And I was getting something on children, but also respect. The fact that it's very um, important that we all respect each other at these times. And for some reason, I'm being told that where we're where we're where we're heading, it's a reality. Okay, you have to feel this, but it's a reality of less respect, which is why we need to hold the respect and consciously remember to have respect for other people. It's something about we're being led to a time where there is less respect for difference in opinion or difference in the way of being and I don't know whether that has something to do with like COVID or the fact that um, like another lockdown or just people's views on COVID or lockdown but it's just that people's views may not match and because people's views may not match that may cause a lack of respect or a mistreatment in the way that we respond to people or each other and energy guy is saying to hold the respect. For some reason, she's saying to be like children. Children have a way of, um, it's not about being disrespectful, it's just about stating facts or stating what is or just saying what is there. Children do not lie, they're very blunt. And she's saying that you can, um, you don't have to agree with everybody's opinions or views, but you can just state truths. And in you simply stating truth is you being respectful because there's a lack of fabrication, there's a lack of, um, what's the word, of being like malicious or having an ulterior motive when you're just speaking truth or when you're just stating facts. So seeds, planting seeds. And really what I'm getting is that something's brewing and it feels like there's a this time that we're speaking of, it's to come. There's something very key about ourselves individually in relation to the times that are coming. We have the trickster card at the bottom of the deck and it's something like only we can keep ourselves in alignment. There's something about the reality that we're about to experience, we're all going to experience it together in terms of the collective reality, but individually, there's something very significant about what we're about to experience and our journey individually. And you're just saying it's a choice and a direction, a directional change. King of Fire. Just one more card. So being brought to the mind and planting seeds of the mind, we have union. A balancing of the mind. A choice. A directional shift. Okay, guys saying that one must choose to be in love. One must choose to be in love. One must choose to be in balance. One must choose to see both sides of the perspective. One must choose to hold equilibrium, to be the balance, to hold the balance, to hold the peace, to hold the understanding. 
she's basically saying and she right now she's calling to light workers star seeds those that are spiritually aware or those that are spiritually awoken and she's saying that it's for you to hold the peace for you to hold the balance it's, it's something that is very necessary for us to hold the pole shift for some reason it's that there's going to be people sat just within the light or people that only want to acknowledge the light and people sat in darkness and people that only want to acknowledge the darkness but there needs to be the middle ground there needs to be in the balance there needs to be those in the middle that hold both sides together there needs to be the person in the middle or the individual in the middle or the things in the middle that say you're not wrong you're not wrong let's bring the ideas together and both be right let's all of us be right we all hold different nodules of truth and when we bring them together, they just make more nodules of truth. You see how my hands are literally mirroring one another. She's saying that the people will come to realise that the truth, the truth lies within the lie and the lie lays within the truth that there is no difference, there is no individuality, there is oneness and there is segregation and in the segregation comes individuality but in oneness is everything, is all, is all of us, all of you. We need to stop searching for difference and Angie's not saying to search for what is the same but just allow for what is the same or to allow what is similar or to allow that what connects each other to just be because what is there what is for us to connect what is what is there that is that we are similar is already visible is already tangible is already physical it's the difference that we continue to search for that continues to bring in this energy of separation of segregation it's this constant search of what does it mean to be me and yes we are here to find out who we are and to dive deep into who we are to find our personal universe but also it's about just accepting who we are and who we are is that we are all one and the same that yes, we have differences, but it's those differences that make us the same. And when we continue to search for the difference, it's, it's the search for why I'm not the same as this person or why we are not connected. The fact that you're all on earth is your connection. The fact that you are sentient is your connection. The fact that you have feeling is your connection. The fact that you have the ability to love and you have the ability to hate is your connection. Skin and hair texture and they're even saying like even gender there's a reason for it it's an equation it's down to past lives future life current lives it's down to ways of expressing that are integral to the anchoring of certain light codes through your being on this earth there's a reason for everything, but we search for the reason and we search for the difference instead of searching for the commonality. Instead of searching for the middle ground. Instead of searching for the love. Alignment. A shift from the outside in or even the inside out. Let's have another card. There's something about energies coming together. Peace as well as chaos coming together. Again, both sides of the spectrum. Intellect, knowledge and wisdom coming together. This is for me seeking guidance, seeking answers from the light.
obviously times are going to get a bit tough. There is going to be some emotional turmoil you're cast into the collective. But there's a sense of we have healing at the bottom of the deck. It is a time of healing. A time of balancing. A time of understanding the self better, understanding others better. Something's happening on the earth. There's going to be a shift, a change. But there's some emotional turmoil. And there's a sense of those that are emotionally intelligent or, again, spiritually aware or just awoken, it's almost a sense that they need to lead. That there's a sense of being followed or being copied or being admired. Tricks the energy. Be careful who you're following as well. Be careful of who is leading. And you're just saying that it will be a time when, okay, when those that are maybe spiritually aware, it's not that they're going to be looked down upon. It's that they're going to be very much so noticeable, visible, People are going to see how they're going to react. People are waiting for them to react, to copy their response. People are also waiting slightly on their downfall to see how spiritual, spiritually aware people handle the times that are coming. How they handle their emotions, how they handle their feelings. It's almost that people want to see the cards that you're dealt. Queen of Earth. Right now there's something about the shuffling of these cards and we're all shuffling and we're all um, I don't know if the word's like dishing out or serving out or giving whoever deals the dealing the cards you deal your own cards and it's that we're all in this place right now we are four at the bottom of the deck we're all manifesting our own destiny we're all uh, manifesting our own deck of cards our own hand of cards the hand that we're going to be able to play with is the hand that we've manifested and this manifestation is based on like our actions our thought patterns where we want to go in the future the things that we've done in our past the the emotions that we've healed and not healed and it's like people are going to be watching okay what it is it's that we're coming to a time where things are going to be tough. So where people are mentally is going to be visible in their actions and their choices and in their decisions. So spiritually aware people are going to be seen as the ones that are meant to be most mentally stable, most assured, most self-reliant, most um, peaceful. And we're all going to, everyone's going to be watching how people are responding, how people are reacting, because it's going to be a telltale sign of who's actually been doing the work and who's not been doing the work. Who's actively been putting in the work and going with them, listening to self listening to their guides and who's not it's like we're going to be able to see the fakes we're going to be able to see the fraudulent and it's not and I'm just saying it's not necessarily those who are constantly um, peaceful or zen it's something about honesty and you're saying emotional integrity is also and emotional intelligence is also like emotionally on being emotionally honest those who have emotional intelligence knows that emotions are not weakness. That the expressions of one's emotions is strength, is courage. All is not as it seems. Queen of Water. All is not as it seems. Emotions are playing a huge role in our journey at the moment. They are dictating, our emotions are dictating a lot of where we're heading on the course of this journey. Definitely. But there's still hidden beauty and hidden truths to be revealed about the world and to the world. Hidden gems 
awaiting to be expressed, awaiting to be discovered. There's something about um, the collective emotional body and there needing to be a release of this, of a release within this, sorry. Definitely, you have these two cards. It's almost like this is Mother Gaia. And she's juggling like the thoughts, the emotions, the aspirations of everybody on earth. But there's a block within the, not the heart space, but this is for me more so like the emotion, the uh, representing the emotional body. That there needs to be a cleansing of this. For some reason there's a seal of protection or something around the emotional body, not the emotional body, around the heart center, the collective heart center. If you see this, look, these two individuals got their hands on their hearts as well. But this emotional, sorry, this seal of protection is also around the emo emotions around the heart center. For some reason, it feels like we've been holding in a lot of, I want to say emotional light codes, emotional DNA codes, energetic codes. But it feels like these are all pertaining to the heart, things that have happened in the past, that have happened on earth, most importantly. There's something about us all reaching into our heart and connecting to these events of the past that lie within us, that are within our DNA, that need releasing. That like emotional pain. So you have thoughts. Thoughts become things. Okay. To really manifest our highest reality, to really manifest one of unity, one of collective consciousness, one of unity consciousness, one of love consciousness, I want to say, it's important that we are doing it from a neutral space. And when we have certain emotions or certain things within us that are not holding us back, but are almost becoming blockages or that we haven't accessed, they also help to dictate our thoughts and the energy that we are emitting out into the universe. For some reason, there's a need for it to clear, but when it's this one about thoughts, it's more so about clearing again this emotional body, releasing things within our emotional body. Because when we release the things that are in our emotional body, we are able to have a clearer, a clearer sight of the future of what we're wanting to manifest and what we're needing to manifest. Okay. Heaven on earth or heaven on earth. And this is basically saying, Guy is saying that we can have heaven on earth we can manifest heaven on earth, but again, one needs to want it, one needs to desire it, one needs to put in the mental effort, the mental energy, because it's mental energy that is manifestation energy. When we're talking about um, thinking about our future and what reality we want, really we want heaven on earth. But heaven on earth comes with everything being in balance. Everything being in alignment. The good, the bad and the ugly. It comes with knowledge of self, knowledge of others, knowledge of the plant kingdom. Hidden truths, hidden wisdom. Accepting the shadow, accepting the fear, accepting the worry. I don't know why, but I just thought to pull some cards from the top. Choice. I believe at the beginning of the deck, we had choice. I Well, not we didn't have choice come out, but I mentioned that there's choice. There's a choice in which, dire which direction we want to head. There's also a choice to really go through the centre. Remember we said about the equili equilibrium, the balance. The one that holds both sides. 
for some reason, look, if you can see how it's the one in the centre that has these tears of emotion overflowing. It's almost like it's the one in the centre that has or the understanding, or the understanding of both sides, that feels the pain of both sides, that feels the struggle of both sides, that feels the frustration of both sides wanting to be right or wanting to be heard or expressed or felt wholly or completely. It's a choice that the power, the strength comes from going in the middle, from holding equilibrium, equilibrium, from being, from acting or responding from a neutral sp space. We have masculine and feminine at the bottom of the deck, balance, neutrality. Okay. So we're going to pull these two cards and then I'm going to close my eyes and channel a message from Mother Gaia and see what she has to say to us today. So you have Queen of Fire and the Counselor. <laughs> For some reason I'm being brought to the judge. That the judge, and now I'm here, the jury, the executioner, they're in this p position of power and strength, but they're also in this position of vulnerability. You see, they we see them as being this fiery, strong, um, almost like, I want to say stubborn, or just scary individual, very self-assured, kind of all-knowing, but really, they are this individual, they're the counsellor, the individual that's meant to seek balance, the individual that's meant to really look at things from a neutral perspective, not from a perspective of wanting to prosecute or to, like, punish somebody. It's a position where they have to be connected to their mind, they have to be connected to their heart, and they have to sometimes choose which one to listen to. But really, when it's coming to the counsellor, it's about them being in balance, about them being in neutrality. That what's on the outside does not always reflect what's happening on the inside. That this person may seem to be cold and wicked, yet they are having to really listen, to really be connected to their mind and their heart at the same time. To connect to their feeling, but also to connect to like logic and to just law and, and just bring it back to choice again that the power is listening to both sides is feeling both sides is hearing both sides and then making a decision then making a choice then moving forward so there's a need for us to accept both sides of the scale, positive, negative, light and dark, the good, the, the good people, the bad people, the scary moments, the happy moments, to bring it all together, to become whole, to make decisions, to move forward. Okay, she's saying stop with the procrastination. You know where you're moving, you know where you're going, just do it. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes and just see what message Mother Guy has to present to us. Peace and love. I am not here for you or me. I'm here for us and we. You can do anything in this world, be anything in this world. You just have to choose it and not choose it but be it. You don't become something in the future. You actively be it and as you actively be it, there is no choice but your future to match it because your future is going to be in alignment with who you are. So if you want to be a star, 
You don't project out into the future of your want or your desire of being a star in the future. You be the star that you expect to be in the future, that you want to be in the future in your present moment. And as soon as you become that, as soon as you embody that, your future will continue to present that to you. Your future will continue to be in alignment with the star that you are. It's important to let go of the past while holding onto the lessons of the past. It's important to go with the flow and not be a dictator of your future. Allow your future to flow into your current experience. Allow yourself to flow into each experience not dictating how each experience should or shouldn't play out. It's important to choose neutrality, to res respond from a place of being centred, grounded and balanced. There will be times when you're hasty with your actions, your reactions, your responses to people and there's nothing wrong with that. And when you are hasty or reactive, or extremely res quickly to respond, you then get a moment, there's always a moment to choose, to take a step back, to go back into a place of neutrality and re-respond. There's never a moment of failure or a moment of falling out of alignment. There's just moments of recognising that I could be more aligned at this time. that I could better respond at this time, that I can emit more love in my reaction at this time. It's not about being perfect, but it's about choosing to strive towards being better. It's not a contest of who is better because we are all winners. It's not a contest of who is the biggest loser because throughout life we all fail. But it's about choosing to continue to move forward. It's about choosing to continue to expand. It's about choosing to continue to grow. And grow does, growth and expansion doesn't always mean light. In growth and expansion is dark. Seeds are birthed from darkness. The universe birthed from darkness. The light comes from the dark. The dark comes from the light. The child is born from darkness into light. It's about choosing to hold love in your heart. It's about choosing to understand it's about choosing to try to understand. It's about choosing to come together. It's about choosing to be happy. It's about choosing to learn more about the self. It's about choosing to meditate. It's about choosing to eat healthy. It's about choosing to just be yourself. Life is about choice. Not good or bad choices, but maybe positive or negative choices. Not positive or negative choices, but maybe high vibrational and low vibrational choices. And maybe not even high vibrational choices and low vibrational choices. Maybe life is just about choices. It's about choices, making choices, taking action and observing our actions, observing the aftermath or the outcome of certain actions and whether we should take those actions again or whether we should adjust those actions because again there's always a time when we can add more love to our actions where we could add more understanding to our reactions where we can react from a place of higher understanding or higher overstanding life is about choice you had choice to come here 
you had choice to click on this video, you had choice to listen to this video, you had choice to continue to be here in this moment. So now that you know that life is all about choice and that you get to create your life and that you are the one that chooses, choose love in each moment, choose understanding in each moment, choose togetherness in each moment. Choose authenticity in each moment. But always choose yourself. Peace and love. Ashe. I'd just like to thank and extend my gratitude to Mother Gaia, to yourself, to energy. If any of the messages have resonated, feel free to like, share, subscribe and join the journey. Peace and love. Ashe.